everyone, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts, and I wanted to show you another card um, using the Painted Harvest set. I just love this set. Um, you can do so many different color combinations. I think you should just play with it and uh, see what you can come up with. So this one I used um, Fresh Fig and, uh, what is it, Wisteria Wonder, and then I have Daffodil Delight in the center, um, and I have Fresh Fig as the, the card based a little ribbon and then this uh, background layer so I thought it came out really pretty um, it does kind of matter what order you stamp in and you have to play with it so this is where I did the fresh fig first and then the wisteria wonder and the more detailed um, for some reason I thought it would work better the other way but this is what the other way looked like so I didn't really care for it so I thought oh well let me try it um, with fresh fig first with the more um, base less detailed and uh, this is what I came out with and I think it's just really gorgeous so let's get started um, let me just put these aside and I am going to uh, do my big shot first usually I have it all prepped for you but I know some some people may not be familiar with the big shot so I figured I would uh, take you through the entire steps so I do have my card base um, cut, and this is an A2 card, half of a piece of 8.5 by 11, and I cut it at 5.5, and, a half, and um, that's this way, and then I score it at 4 and a quarter. And then my layers, I, I pretty much do the same, same kind of layer. This is the Daffodil Delight, and this is um, 5 and a quarter by 4, and then my inside, which I will emboss, is five by three and three quarters so I just kind of step it down a little bit for each layer and then my inside layer is um, five and a quarter by four as well so it's kind of the same as the the yellow and let me just show you the inside what I did was I just put a piece of scrap behind this um, or you can do it right on on this and I just did the corner of the flower and then I used wishing a, a day of love and many uh, and happy memories and this, the sentiments that I'm using are from the beautiful bouquet. It's got the happy birthday and then the inside sentiment. They have a lot of nice sentiments here that have both an outside and an inside. So I, I go to this quite a bit um, when I'm doing my stamping. So let me get my big shot out. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is this smaller piece. I'm going to emboss it with an embossing folder to get this petal look. So let me put these aside. I've got my big shot right here and when you do embossing and my plates are pretty <laughs> pretty bad when you do embossing you um, <clears throat> put the first tab over so you're not doing the full full thickness and you put that in and with this embossing folder um, you're only going to um, you you are going to put the plate on both sides. I'm just looking for it. I have it here. Here it is. So this is um, called petal burst, and it's not one of the the thicker ones. So you need a, a plate on each side. There's some that are the three dimensional, and um, they're very thick. And you'll tell the difference. You wouldn't be able to feed it through if you had the plate underneath. So for this one, I'm going to put my plate down. I'm going to put my cardstock in the middle and try to line it up so it's, you know, straight. And with this pattern, it probably doesn't matter, but I like to be straight anyway. And I like to feed it in with the fold first. And then you take another piece of uh, another plate and you put that on top and kind of make your sandwich. And then you just run it through. I run these through twice. When I use the thicker ones, I only run it through once. Some people spray the thicker ones with water um, first to kind of break the, the seams. Did I get all the way down? I didn't get all the way down. Oh. Let me do that again. I didn't go, I had uh, the plate. I'm gonna actually turn it around. <laughs> I didn't um, have the, the base under the whole thing. So sorry about that. So I'm going to just run this bottom through again. I didn't have this base place on, plate on the whole card. So here we go. It's got the, uh, the embossed look here. So I'm going to put that aside. And I'm going to keep my, um, my big shot out because we're going to do some cutting. So when you do your cutting, 
you're going to um, have this full base here. And I'm going to cut using the um, layering ovals. So on my card, I have one that's just a smooth, and then I have the one that has this, um, this other ridge. So I use the second largest for the smooth one, and I did have that in the Whisper White. So I'm gonna put my plate down, I'm gonna put my uh, cardstock down, I'm gonna have that sharp edge, which is not very sharp, you won't cut yourself on it, um, on the bottom, and then I'm going to Cover the plate. I'm trying to get this all in the, the camera. I'm hoping it shows through. Um, so this, I only run through once. If I have something more detailed, I usually run it back and forth a couple of times. But this is pretty simple cut. So now I have my oval. I'll put that aside. And then I'm going to do the other oval. I use the largest one. And I'm going to do that in the fresh fig. So you can see I did my other one on the same sheet. I usually cut my sheets, um, if I'm starting a new sheet, I cut it right in half, um, five and a half, so that it'll fit through here. And then I still have another half to make a card with or something. I usually you know, use a lot of five and a half, so I think that works out good. If it's something small, I'll just use a piece of... Um, cardstock that I have, you know, just a, a little piece that's left over from some other project. So now I have my two pieces and we're done with the big shot. So let me just put this away and we can start our stamping. So this is going to be a little bit tight. Let me just put my card here to stamp and get it in this oval. But luckily these stamps are the photopolymer so you can see right through them. So I'm going to start with my fresh fig. And I kind of noticed that the stamps, I, I, I measured, I used the center as a guide, but I did notice that they both have like this part that goes up a little bit. But with this stamp, it doesn't matter if it's perfect because it's very, um, uh, it doesn't have to line up. It's, it's kind of like a watercolor look. So what I did was I, I inked up my, my stamp and I tried to get it all the way up as far as I can so that I have room for the sentiment. And I stamped down and then I just picked it up and I moved it, twisted it a little bit and stamped it down again. Just to give it, you know, another layer. And then I used my Wisteria Wonder and I did the inside, the more detailed um, look. And this is to me <laughs> like magic. So I'm going to line it up, try to line up that center, and press down, and there you go. Isn't that gorgeous? And then with the center, I use the Daffodil Delight, and there's a, a kind of just a, a big round ball that goes in the middle. And then there's some detailed dots. I just used it. You could do a different color, but I thought this was just fine. There's just these dots in the middle like a flower would have. So there you go. And then I did my happy birthday in the Wisteria Wonder. And this is kind of tight as well, but it fits. And if it overlaps the flower, that's fine. So we have that. Now let's do the inside of the card. And it's the same steps, only you're going off the page a little bit. So we've got this. I'm going to start again with fresh fig. Let me just put this aside and my, um, my biggest one. And I'm going to just go kind of in the corner. And I'm going to lift up and twist it a little bit. I hope this is all on camera. Let me move up a little bit. Just in case. So I just went down and then I picked up and, and stamped it again. Now I will get my uh, Wisteria Wonder again and ink that up and kind of line up that circle a little bit and go down and it gives it that really beautiful detail. I'll take my Daffodil Delight and go right in the center 
just all the same steps only you're just doing a you know kind of a portion of the flower and there we go so we've got the inside and let me do the inside sentiment and that came from that same um, stamp set so let me get these out of the way wishing you a day of love and happy memories and I will just place that kind of up in the center but a little bit toward the top so that came out good so we'll put these aside or put the center aside let me just close up my inks I don't want to get ink on anything <laughs> I have a unfortunate habit of leaving my inks open and then I end up putting my finger in it or something that I'm working on so let's get them out of the way and then we'll get our card together um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just attach this to the the back I'm going to just use some snail to this layer and we'll just line it up it's pretty tight um, but I think it gives it it just kind of gives it a little contrast on the white behind it it kind of makes it pop off a little bit and then we're going to put this on um, this embossed layer. I'm going to put dimensionals on it just to pop it up a little bit. And you don't have to do this. You could lay it flat. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to put that bow on and that, that's kind of up a little bit too. So I thought this would be good. So we'll take these the release paper off. So this is sticky on both sides once you take the release paper off and it just gives it a little bit of lift, which is really nice. Okay, and I'm going to put it over to the side a little bit so I can put my bow on it. Now this layer I'm going to put on with uh, liquid glue. You could use fast fuse. I just, when, it, when it's embossed like this, I like to have something a little bit stronger than the snail. So I'm going to just... Put some of this multi-purpose uh, liquid glue on it. It just is a little bit stronger and it will go into all like the nooks and crannies here. And it does give you a little bit of time to, to maneuver it if you don't have it straight. So the liquid glue is a nice glue to use to adhere things. Okay, and I'm going to just continue with that and put it on this. You don't have to put a ton. You just have to be careful that you don't put big blobs near the edges so that they don't kind of come through. And we will do this and get it straight. See, it gives you a little bit, a couple of seconds there. So that looks good. Um, this I'm going to just do with the snail. Put this on the inside. I love this uh, fresh fig color. It looks very rich to me, kind of like regal or royal, or I'm not sure what the word is, but I think it's really pretty, and I think these colors are, are great together. And then the last thing I'm going to do, let me just put my cap on my glue, is I'm going to add one of these little bows. These are felt bows. They're called uh, the In Color Bitty Bow Embellishments, and they already have adhesive on the back, and they're in the new In Colors. The Fresh Fig and the Powder Pink, Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist, and Tranquil Tide. So those colors are the, the new colors that came out this year, and they're out for like two years. So they have a lot of embellishments. So here you have it. So that's the card. I think it's very pretty. Um, tell me what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this, and stay tuned for my next video. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.